Oh, yeah. yeah, Michael Rogers, a fantastic guy. Really fantastic. Really super. Michael Rogers, marvellous. In this country, dear friends, we have something which no other country has, and that is a minister for the disabled, and we've got him with us tonight, and how about that? Yes, Alfred Morris MP. How are you, dear friend? Oh. Well, what, uh, what do you think of Michael there? Well, first of all, you know, he's a disabled person, mm. but I think it must be agreed that he's also one of the most able people uh, that you could think of. Yeah. What I'd like to do is to emphasise the abilities of disabled people. Mm. There are things they can't do, but there are many things they can do, and Michael really is a most able person. Yeah, he's like an example, isn't he? I'd say an inspiration. Yeah, really, inspiration. People, yes. w what do you hope to do with your job? Because, because nobody's, we've never had a minister for the disabled before, have we? What do you hope to do with it? What I hope to do is to serve disabled people mm. by making them a part of society mm. instead of treating them as if they were apart from society. Mm. Uh, disabled people don't want anything more than to live lives as normal as possible. Yeah. They want to uh, go into public and social buildings like the rest of us. Do you, uh, going into buildings, like that's a, a bit of a big thing, I mean, you know, you've got to have sort of special wide doors for toilets and things like that for wheelchairs. Have you got uh, a sign at all that you can put on buildings to show them? Yeah, there is a symbol. Yeah. Um, oh, that, that's it there. That's that right. There. Yeah. Yeah, that says that this building is an open building for disabled people. What I'd like to emphasise is that designers of buildings now should put themselves as far as possible in the position of disabled people. Mm. One designer that I know, a very distinguished designer, designed a building from a wheelchair. Mm. He designed the Richard Cloudsley School mm. in Islington, in London, mm. from a wheelchair. But it wasn't a wheelchair case himself? No. He, he sat in a wheelchair to give himself the feel, you mean? That's right. He had the great skill yeah. of being able to put himself ah. in the position of another person. And he put himself in the position of a disabled child. Mm. So the disabled child here has to feel that he or she belongs and to be able to use the building. And for nine months, he worked from a wheelchair so that the building would be accessible to disabled children. Yeah. Do you think this job of yours, uh, do you feel that it should rise above party politics so that whatever government was in power, there should be a minister for the disabled? Do you think that you'll have created something that possibly future governments, whether they're yours or anybody else's, will, will keep going on? So I've been appointed by the Prime Minister, of course, but I'm quite certain that future Prime Ministers um, will confirm this particular appointment. Because after all, there are upwards of three million handicapped people in Britain. There's a great job to do. There isn't very much party controversy, nor should there be any party controversy, because what we're trying to do is to normalise and dignify the lives of disabled people. I see you're wearing one of our Stoke Wanderville ties there. Do you get up there a lot? Yes, I go quite often and I gave the prizes last year to those who took part in the uh, paraplegic games. And um, you know, I'm very proud to have yeah. had this tie presented. Fantastic sight, those para games. Yes. They don't get half the publicity they should. When I saw your appointment, I thought that was marvellous. I thought, at last, is a minister for the disabled that can really, with ministerial powers, actually get things done. I mean, everybody was sort of on your side to start with, you see. Uh, you, I don't suppose you've come up against any snags at all, have you? There are snags. You know, it's very difficult, really, to um, uh, become a minister for the first time. Oh, sure. But I must say that I'm working now with people who are a tremendous help to me. Mm. And, you know, while there are teething problems uh, to begin with, and we can't do everything at once, at least our attitude, I would say, is right. Mm. Because we're determined to make the best possible job we can of the, you know, challenge that's been given to us. Yeah, because y you will agree with me, possibly, that the spirit of people that live in chairs is... I mean, it really puts mobile people like you and me almost to shame, doesn't it? I mean, they've got, they've got like, 25 times as much fight as, as we've got because they, 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 when they get in the chair, they seem to sort of relive again. And they, they get up to all sorts of strokes. There's nothing they can't do, really. Uh, give or take a few curb edges and mm. flights of stairs and things like that. I should imagine that the building question will be one of your biggest difficulties, won't it? You know, getting over steps and stuff like that and, and having new ideas put into existing buildings. That, that could be rather difficult, couldn't it? Yeah, I'd say it's, you know, it may be difficult to uh, adapt to existing buildings, whether shops or uh, clubs.